Uh, long welcome back to No One Plays. Uh, we just got ourselves two vassals and at the war with Saxony. And have a whole bunch of, gra of aggressive expansion that keeps us from doing a much. But there's light at the end of the tunnel of hopefully Sweden acting. They may need to gather some more allies though. Does literally nobody hate Denmark? Are you fucking serious? Nobody hates Denmark. Nobody. Not even I hate Denmark. And I really should. After all, they're terrible people. And go for the standard troops. How many calf units do we have? I'll take two more. I'll enable us to have two armies around. So you do kind of want those two calf units to just flank your army. Especially early on. Do look at what kind of a, an exotic selection we have here. Probably gonna go for the unrest guy. No. Bad separatists. Mad. Stupid unlawful territory from Austria. But they didn't join yet and I'm not sure if they can still. They can, okay. But not for long. And we are scaring everybody around with our massive, massive army. Oh, go away. He's hurting our relations with everybody. Oh shit. Oops. Too many people in one place. There we go. So do I need to start improving relations with some of these guys? Well, with my allies, certainly. Otherwise you might slip away. That would be it, okay. Be really, really bad. So I'm thinking one more infantry, two more artillery, because we can make that work. Then we have a massive front line of 24 troops. And eight artillery in the back. Shooting all the bastards. They should have attacked the two towns as soon as I got out of this war. Bet the Hungarians wouldn't have joined. Hmm. It's all a question of how I get over here. Which I doubt I'll be actually be able to get there. I'm gonna get into Hungary and destroy them, no problem. Oh, that much for an attack on the Teutons. What about you, Hungary? Still ally to Castile, huh? Well, I'd much rather fight Castile than Austria. If only for the fact that they are further away, but also have fewer troops. They're getting up there. 
On the other hand, our army is big, yes, but it is not actually all that strong because we don't have any bonuses to the military yet. We only have quantity. Actually, we do have the morale of armies already, so that's good. No, our army reformer! Need new guy. And maintenance is not bad. Still has rebels. True that. So I think I should definitely get a second claim on Hungary. Oh, god damn it. Hmm. Hunger, hunger, hunger. I do want to attack them. Is worth exactly to attack them, and let's just balance the armies. Why not? Two armies of sixteen each. Beautiful, gorgeous armies, right there, and well. Oh yeah. Should probably also get to influence. <laughs> yeah. I think with the influence ideas, we're actually best off. Because we can just take them all. Meaning we can easily get through our national ideas, getting ourselves quite the edge. As opposed to admin, which we're going to use up quite quickly. And we can't really fall behind in too much, otherwise we're going to have a bad balance in Monarch points. to the Papal States now as well. Damn it! Oh, to be fair, we don't really care about the Papal States anymore. They hate us anyways. Shall I raise the maintenance? I think it is time. Not aggressive expansion though. Wait, what? 24 against Poland? Holy shit. Just from taking those three provinces, eh? There's only three provinces. Yeah, only Castile will join them. On the other hand, on my side, nobody will join. Seems to be okay, though. Oh, crap. Poland is also attacking them. I 
I guess that can be good. <laughs> Turns out we'll pounce on them and then they'll be small enough to actually vassalize. That'll be hilariously great. On the other hand, of course, Poland will be even scarier. Poor little guy. Oh crap, he still has Aragon in Naples. Oops. Oh well. If we really get one Winter Siege. We literally just got there. We get Winter Siege right away. Okay. The old and the infirm. Yes, please. Mm-mm-mm. Yearly army tradition decay and yearly army tradition. 0.5 and negative 1. So army tradition should be pretty great. So at 100% it would decay at 4 or if 100 tradition it would decay at 4. And right now we are gaining 0.8. Not bad. Could stack that. Stacked up with some other ideas. Wasn't there something on those lines in this one? No? They they moved it on, only over here, didn't I? Yeah, they did. It's only 1%. Well, that sucks. We can go all the way down to Zagreb. Zagreb, so... Do it. Protect the notion access. <laughs> it would be great if they would like have a few provinces left and then we just vassalize them. Oh how glorious. Yeah, we're slightly outnumbered. Just ignore that aspect for now. And go to the happy place. Hello. See you there. I'll put my air. Oh yeah, that's right, because he sucks. Good. Send him up there. Can do some fighting. Should probably turn on my forts. Just in case. They are actually making a decent front line here. For anybody coming from the west at least. Could possibly have sunk their fleet. Let's, try, let's not take chances that big. Holy crap. Moving in with so many. Okay then. Didn't expect that. Oh, those fuckers. Eight. Damn it. Actually landed. They're going to Berlin. Great. Oh, no, go away! Go away, you bastards! There's just too many of them. Damn it! Never turned on the fort as well. Because I'm a genius, though.
just make sure that I can get them out of my country. Going to Nomark probably stopped there as well. Nope. Oh, they're going all the way down to Hungary. Damn it. Go away. Five days is question, that's not gonna be enough, is it? Yes it is. It was enough. Ah oh, beautiful. They suffer a river crossing and everything. Except of course that they somehow do a shit ton of damage. Holy shit. I mean I know my morale wasn't the greatest to start out with, but holy shit. What the fuck? What the fuck man? How? Ouch, they have a six shot guy. That does so much damage. That is not even funny. That asshole of a general. They're like way behind in tech. They're in tech nine. Wait, they're in tech nine? Why do they have that much of a penalty? Oh, they probably just had to wait too much cavalry. Holy shit, what a fucking asshole. Ah, oh, crap. Well, shit. Oh there buddy, you want a lot of stuff. Didn't call him... When is this this war? Oh never mind, he couldn't call him Castile. Damn it. Damn you bastard, damn you. Well, that was the first really, really bad call of a war. Wait, what? Switzerland's in this as well? Oh, fuck you, game. Fuck you! Seriously. See more alliances. Well, he's in a war. That somehow do a shit ton of damage. Without being really well explained. Fuck. Oh god, that hurts. Why? Why? I wanted to pounce on them while Poland kicks their shit in, but apparently Poland doesn't do much. Hmm. Yeah, that one hurts. Especially for Anhalt. And of course, Silesia. Marin is okay because, well, we're not going to lose the course, but here in Silesia we're going to lose the course. Fuck off, Switzerland. How dare you? 
Oh, I will free a freaking diplomat for this. There we go. Appropriate response. Well, that sucks. That was a whole freaking lot. Face tax. Hmm. And it is time to cut the video. The sad, sad video where I just tried to expand too quickly. Ah. <sighs> God damn it. I looked at Spain and was like, okay, we can deal with that. But then he has half the world on his side as a vassal. Plus, Hungary got himself some new allies. That's right, because the Pope didn't come in, so he got himself Florence as an ally, and Switzerland as well. So not only did we have to deal with Castile, Aragon, and Naples, which I kind of forgot about Aragon and Naples, to calculate that in, um, but he also had to deal with Florence and Switzerland. That came in as a surprise. That's right, Hungary, the AI, has the ability to make allies while he is in two wars. What the fuck, game? Who the fuck gets to make allies while being in two wars? God damn it. Fuck you, Silesia. Gonna be coming for you as soon as possible. But we lost the course. Ah, fuck. Fuck! 